Hey peeps, it's Hedgy back with some more Emerald Randomizer. In the last episode, we went through Route 111's desert. In this episode, we're gonna go past Route 111's desert. Oh, uh, we're gonna backtrack. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, so... From here, we gotta go west. By the way, I changed up my party a little bit. Now, instead of Ash, I have Kelsey. And I took Kelsey out to daycare, and... And now leveled her up a little bit, and she has sing, double slap, assist, and faint attack. And I'm hoping she's gonna be a decent addition to my party. She might not be my permanent final member, but eh, we'll see when it comes around. I might end up involving her later on in this LP, so just key up. Spoilers. Anyway, let's go. But anyway, I leveled up everybody to level twenty, at least level twenty-eight. Because, um, well, the gym leader coming up has Pokemon in the 30s, so we want to make sure to be ready for that. Anyway, let's go west. Right, why am I not on my bike? I don't know. But hey, Mr. Winford Brindley has something to say to me. Ah, it's you. We were raising your Pokemon, and my goodness, were we surprised. Your Pokemon had an egg. We don't know how it got there, but your Pokemon had it. You do want it, yes? Yes. You have no room for it. Come back when you made room. Uh, yeah, by the way, I put Ash in daycare. And put, as well as Super. Mainly to, well, Super for leveling up. But, and Ash mainly for breeding. So, those two are making babies. And, ah, uh, random Pokemon battle. Okay, let's get out of here. Mainly because I don't want to spend too much time getting to where I need to go. Yep, oh. What are you doing here, bruh? Hi, yo. Oh, it's you! You're that person who not only helped me in Petalburg Woods, but also got my, back my stolen package and then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the package arrived, too. I thank you very, very much. Why, if I were rain, rain cloud, I'd shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. Oh, boy. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. I just saved 15% on my car insurance by switching to Geico. What? <laughs> Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. And we get a repeat ball. And a repeat ball uh, helps catch Pokemon you've already caught before. So let's say I went through Route 6, 106 and tried to catch another Milotic. Perfect example. Our new Pokeball will be available at the Pokemon Mart in Restboro. Please do try it out. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh, then you just walk off into the distance. I love how they just magically disappear. Crap! Alright, let's try this. Seriously? One more time. Okay, there we go. Now let's get through this grass in one piece. And I'm actually going to stop at the Martin Rustboro. Mainly because I want to pick some stuff up before I before I go in. Where is that Mart? There it is. Downward! we. Oh boy. Hmm. Pick something up real quick. Um. Oh, you know what? They don't got what I have. They don't got what I want. So, in fact, we're gonna go to the next, uh, next place. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of backtracking. So yeah, stuff, stuff, and things, and stuff, and other stuff, and other things. Why? Why other things? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying stuff just to say stuff. To fill time, fill holes, and fill things with uh, lead paint. Why lead paint? I have no idea. Crap. Alright. Now we're going... Oh wow, I, yeah, I think I just clipped my audio. Oh well, we'll live. We're where we need to be in Petalburg. Why did I use the speed up button? The Petalburg City. Oh boy. Remember that gym we ran into in the first like episode or two? Well, we're going back there. <laughs> we're actually able to do stuff. And stuff can be done. So let's go to enter the gym. And now for gym leader number five, Norman. He has seven trainers in his gym, but only three of them are actually required to progress through the gym. He has normal type Pokemon in his gym, and his trainers have level 26 Pokemon, while he has level 27 to 31 Pokemon. His gym is split into separate rooms, and each trainer focuses on a certain specific scenario, i.e. 
Raise of accuracy, zero reduction of stats, uh, critical hits, etc. His Pokemon are pretty tough, Norman's Pokemon. But don't try to inflict any status conditions because his Pokemon, all his Pokemon know Facade, which powers up if his Pokemon is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. But if you have a fighting type, you should be just fine. So, but just be very careful with the status conditions. Anyway. Uh, the rewards for beating Norman are his balance badge, the ability to use Surf outside of battle, and TM42, which is Facade. And welcome to gym number 5. What'd you guys say, bro? hi -o. Hey, how's it going, Champion Balance Snow? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Oh, whoops. The doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. Oh, but I wanna. The trainers of Petalburg Gym will use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. Okay. So we're gonna go in the speed room first. Maybe because the speed room to me is just a lot easier. Anyway, let me check, make sure my Pokemon are set in the right position. Now nah, I'm switching Mill Kitty. And we should be getting on our merry way here. hi -o. The ability to attack before the opponent. Just that alone puts me in a great advantage, don't you agree? No. No, therefore your battle gets sped up. You lie. Okay, but there you go. He swims out a Swellow. And I send out Kitty. Because Kitty is rock type and she can't really be affected that much by attacks. Even though her ability is kind of sorry, really. I mean. But yeah, we defeated Cool Trainer Randall. That was a magnificent battle. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And I got 1200 bucks for winning, by the way. But anyway, yeah, her ability is Hustle, which uh, trades accuracy for power, so it sucks, really. Confusion Room. I'm gonna... It's either the Confusion Room or the Defense Room. I'm gonna go in the Defense Room. Because stuff. Because reasons. Anyway, let's go. The higher the defense, the more reckless I can be in attack. Okay. Well, you get sped up too. Why? Because I don't feel like handling like any sort of bull crap. Yes. Stuff. And other stuff. And more stuff. Mainly, th this room focuses more on defense than, uh, than like the other rooms. Like the other one focused on speed, even though my, uh, even though Kitty was faster. And Kitty fainted, by the way. Let's go ahead and bring out D-Pack. Put this thing to sleep. So it can't keep uh, enhancing its stats any. An acid spam like it was no thing. Or maybe cut. Let's cut it. Yeah, cut works. Okay. 606 points and we defeated Cool Trainer Alexia. Our defense is weren't enough. Weren't. Yes. They weren't enough. Yes. Alright, we got 1248 more bucks. And I'm gonna go heal. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we are back, and now the two rooms we got are the Strength Room and the One Hit KO Room. I'm gonna go in the One Hit KO Room, mainly because I can. This this, this guy is really just a weird son of a gun. Anyway, hi -oh. I'm not gonna take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how horrid it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. <sighs> I'll show you how horrid it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. You get sped up. Anyway, you got a Vigoroth, level 26. So, I'm gonna... Oh, it would be nice if my attacks actually freaking connected. See, I told you, her ability makes everything so much, like, stuff. And it sucks, really. If I had a way I could retrain Kitty, restart Kitty from the beginning, I would. But, I can't, so I won't. Um, anyway, Kitty, yeah, Kitty fainted again. So, we we'll bring out d -Pat yet again. Alright, let's ask this thing like it was no thing. One more time. And, there you go. Didn't take one hit. That focus, that was supposed to focus on, like, the po uh, the critical hits. Focus energy, dire hit, stuff like that. Anyway, we're free cool trainer Burke. Your power. You're the real deal. Yes, I got 1248 bucks for winning. And one more time with the healing, BRB. Alright, we are back. And now, 
for our final test, the gym leader's room. See for yourself what Pokemon awaits you, the sign says. You want to go through? Yes. Yes, we do. All right. So, now all that's left is Norman. hi yo. Hmm. So you did get four gym badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Snow. I am so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But, a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Snow, you better give it your best shot too. And say hello to gym leader number five, Norman. Oh my goodness gracious, good gray googly moogly. This guy is a pain in the tail. Anyway, he starts off at the level 27 Spenda. Uh, this thing is actually one of his easier Pokemon. Uh, so I'm gonna roll roll out it. And, of course, Teeter Dance. Teeter Dance causes instant confusion. And it's a pain. It is a pain. I mean, especially with Kitty being confused. I probably should have came a little more prepared for this. But you know what? Rock Smash. Why? Because, because Rock Smash. There's your reasoning. Alright. Yep. And Rock Smash is a fighting type move, so... I could be... I could just keep using it. Kitty's already confused, so... Teeter Dance isn't gonna work twice, bruh. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Alright. Let's see his recover. I'm already confused. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and use recover. Get some HP back. I'm going to rock smash, and of course it uses teeter dancing. I'm tired of your teeter dancing. Stop teeter dancing. Because it, it kind of keeps confusing me. And I keep hurting myself more than I'm hurting it. So if I can get rid of this first Pokemon, I should be fine. And yeah, I snapped out of confusion. I also want him to go ahead and use his Hyper Potion if he wants to. He has Hyper Potions. So he can use them. And he's got Side Beam. He's Opa Kitty style. Look, since Psybeam, I mean, come on. You had to see that one coming. I've seen that one, uh, video that, uh, there was an Alakazam that used Psybeam, and all of a sudden Gangnam style played. It was kind of funny. There we go. We got rid of her first Pokemon, his first Pokemon, as Spinda. Okay, so now he's gonna bring out. Slacking, which is actually one of his powerhouses. But, there's a secret, his special ability that screws him over from time to time. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, uh, Kelsey. Why? Because. Because I can. But anyway, Kelsey. Alright. You bad. you gotta need to do your duty. Do what you need to do. Facade, really. That sucks. Um, I, I was not really aiming for her to faint so fast, so I'm gonna bring out, um, Audie. Why Audie? Well, Audie has hypnosis, so it'd be best. And the special, and, um, slacking special ability is truant, which means it gets to move every other move. Uh, I mean, it moves every other move, so... Yeah, it will use a message, say a message that says, uh, foe is lacking, uh, slacking around, loafing around, whatever. That means it's actually not gonna move that turn, so. And now I'm gonna peck it to death. Because I can. And Yawn, uh, with Audie's insomnia, is not going to, uh, affect her at all. I should, I mean, I knew this was coming. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, because this is gonna take forever. Alright. There. Put it back to sleep. Do do do. Alright. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to knock some decent HP off of this thing. And try to keep it from attacking me too much. Attacking me like two cans. What? Yep, and of course it's lacking. It's lacking had a citrus berry, so 
how it ate it in its sleep is a mystery. It's, it's really wanting to use counter. Alright. But I'm not letting it use counter. I'm going to defeat it. You will stay asleep, dang it. Nope. No. Screw this. It's gonna hurt me with counter. And I bet you he's gonna use his hyper potion, of course. And wow. Wow, it's gonna it's gonna kill me. Alright. Oh well. Audi took Audi took it like a champ. I'm gonna tell you that flat out. Go ahead, uh, Emil. I'm gonna put you in there. Meanwhile, you ancient power like a boss. Uh, I'm trying to hurry and get through this battle. It's been 16 minutes. And alpha side. That's gonna hurt. Oh boy. This might be tricky. Well, I'm gonna put in deep hat. Why deep hat? Well, I just want to get rid of slacking. And since it's gonna loaf around this turn, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, heal kitty. I'm gonna speed this up. We're just gonna speed this up a little because in all honesty, it's just getting annoying. But yeah, he used his hyper potion already. One of his hyper potions. So I'm just gonna acid and, um, oh, his defense fell. Just keep him asleep as long as possible. Because that slacking is powerful. Hey, son of a gun. Right. Just keep him asleep. He's acid like a bouse. Like a bouse. Like a, uh, oh, wait, like a bouse. <laughs> I forgot about his special ability. Anyway, d pack grew to level 30. And now he's gonna use Vigoroth. Hmm. Um, uh, it's got Vital Spirit as his, uh, special ability, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Kitty. Cause, um, d pad Sleep Powder would be very ineffective against this thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and destroy his Vigoroth, hopefully. Roll out. And of course it's gonna use Facade, so... Of course, and good thing is not very effective against Kitty. Kitty's gonna miss. Uh, I'm just gonna speed some of these battles along, because, well... Because, in all honesty, it's like, yeah, it's starting to get boring watching, um, me beat these Pokemon. It is. Vigoroth fainted. Kitty grew some points. Kitty grew level 29. And, finally, his final Pokemon, Linoon. Oh, boy, here it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to, to D-Pad again. If I can, and then immediately heal. Right. So, let's go ahead. Because I'm at 18 minutes. I'm trying to... That didn't work. Okay. So, Masay is going to hopefully be my go-to. It's going to use Belly Drum, maximize its attack. And just, and it's using not Hyper Potion. I just need a Confusion. Yes. 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 Yes, indeed. That's how you do it. He hurt himself. To, he killed himself, essentially. But yeah, Masay grew 795 points. And we defeated Norman. Awesome. I, I... I can't... I, I can't believe it. Snow. I lost to Snow? But rules are rules. Here, take this. And on top of that, we get $3,100. And what? There you go. I guess if... It, we got the balance badge, by the way. I mean... With that badge, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you. Snow, I'm sure you can use it correctly. And he also get TM42, which is Facade. At least that's what he's going to tell me, I think. TM42 contains Facade. It doubles the power of moves if the Pokemon is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. It might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. As the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am. But as a father, 
It makes me both happy and a little sad. It's on. Oh, hi -oh. Ah, there you are, Snow. Please come with me. I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, don't you? Do you? Let me borrow your snow for a minute or two. And automatic walking sequence. I somehow chaos controlled out of the gym. That is how I roll. Like a troll doll. I mean, what? What? Anyway. Yes. Snow, please excuse us for dragging you here this way. But our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Bird in Turf Town. We owe it all to you. Who oh, do we know? He already left. <laughs> when Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that was. I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally. It made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I would really like you to have this. And he gives us HMO3, which is Surf. And now we are able to use it since we beat Norman. So yeah, he gives you the ability to use Surf outside of battle. So there you go. If your Pokemon can Surf, you'll be able to go all sorts of places. Okay. And what do you guys say, man? hi yo. I want you to keep this a secret from my husband. But our Wally left Bird and Turf Town without telling anyone. You know, Wally's frail, but he's surprisingly strong-willed. I'm sure that he'll come back safe and sound one day. I just kept my regular voice because I I don't want to stress the voice too much more. So I got another episode I want to record. Anyway, in the next episode, we're gonna go further on through um um through back to back to our normal adventure. Whatever, I don't know. Anyway <laughs> Anyway, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hedgy and I am signing out. Bye y'all.